Hi guys, welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm showing you how to make um, these bead sticks, which I think are really nice. Um, now these are something I um, just created while messing around with craft glue. Um, now this craft glue is Bond's Star Craft Glue. Um, so you can get it on Amazon. Uh, really cheap. So if you're making these own, I recommend you get the Star Glue. Um, you cannot use Prit Stick. I tried using Prit Stick and it doesn't work. So if you have Prit Stick, um, you can't use that. If you're going to Craft Glue, um, but if you can't get this craft glue, um, any other craft glue will suffice. So, the first thing you need to do to make these is get some glues. Now, if you want to make one like I've made, then I'd recommend that you um, you say colour beads, but it could be a multi-colour stick. Um, and because I've already made that, I'm going to try making multi-coloured ones this time. And uh, we can compare the two and see how they look. So, first thing you do, you're going to make the sticks, and then, once the drive will sit together, the first thing you need to do is make the sticks. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make three of these sticks. But if you wanted to, you could make more like I have here. But I'm just going to show you how to make three in this video, just because that's the basic. That's pretty much the minimum, minimum you need to have. So, I've just got my random amount of beads here. And so, to make this, I'm going to get my craft glue. I'm going to take a random bead. If you're doing this one colour, you can take colour of bead you've chosen. And you're just going to get your glue stick. You're just going to push it. And you're going to dab a tiny bit of glue on top of it. Just like that. And then you're going to want to stick it on top. Okay. And then you want to do that again. And then you have three beads. Now, when you get three beads, you're going to want to do you're going to want to flip your tower over this is quite a messy amount of projects to do so sometimes I might flop it like that you just put them back together and um, I'll show you another little trick of how, um, of how you can do that really easily um, once I show you how to make these sticks and they've dried and I'll show you how you can easily put them back together. As long as once they've dried, you will they will peel apart a bit and then you then have to put them back together again. But I have really easy method of doing that, so don't worry So now what you're going to do is you're just going to get your glue stick and you're going to dab it on the end of your thing the last end of your beat. No, you can do either side if you want to. It doesn't matter really matter. And then you really start making sticks. So um if you want to another bead on it just repeat the process again. Let me go on stick the really simple. I'm doing my colours this time so I'm not sticking to it at all um, it's up to you, you can do multi colours, you don't need multi colours. So, um, if you're trying to do this, um, I recommend you pause the video now, add maybe about another five beads on, and comment once you've done that, and I'll tell you what you need to do next. Okay, so once you've made your first stick, you should just have a look, it's a bit like this. Um, now, you cannot move this stick until it's dry, because 
if you move it, it's just going to break. So definitely don't remove it. And also a quick recommendation is, is if you are doing this, I'd recommend you put some like a bit of plastic underneath it because if you put it on the table, which I did, um, it sticks to the table and leaves marks on the table, which um, they're really hard to clean off. And it doesn't even doesn't get you the best results. So I'd make sure you didn't do that. So when making these, if you want to make a wall of them like this, you need to make at least three sticks. So because this video I'm gonna show you how to make a wall of them, um I recommend if you're following along, uh, you probably email and make another two sticks and come have done that and I'll tell you uh, what the next step is. somewhere around like you know four and a half hours is a good time but depending on what brand of craft you have that um the amount of time you need to let them dry will vary so um i'll see you for us time once my b6 have dried okay welcome back it has been a few hours and our bead sticks are now ready. So, to get this off, we're literally just gonna lift them up. Did they hold? That means they're good. Okay, so as I said in the last clip, some of them are quite likely to break. Because they're mainly them together we can just stick the chunks back together so first let's put a sort of end of these chunks free and because these are the main things here anyway we only need to leave these for Next time, 
we should be totally ready and we can move on to the next step of sticking together and making something that looks a bit more like. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes and my bees are now ready to take off. One bee stick, two bee sticks, and three bee sticks. Perfect. So, turn these sticks into a wall like this. All you have to do is apply glue. So in my next video I'm going to plan that out and show you it in the way so you can just really understand how big that's going to be. It'll be about, we approximated about 1.2 meters, 20 centimeters, so that is over two thirds of the average adult's height, so absolutely massive creation and I'll explain more about that in the next video. Okay, so that's all to say, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye!